Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us for this UCalgary, Choose UCalgary um, presentation for applicants outside of Alberta. Um, so just before we begin, I just wanted to give a quick uh, land acknowledgement. So we would like to respectfully acknowledge the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprising of the Siksika, Pikani, and Kainai First Nations, as well as the Satina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspa, and Wesley First Nations. Um, the city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Um, and this land acknowledgement is just one part of the University of Calgary's um, commitment towards the truth and reconciliation. Um, if you or anyone else you know is of indig Indigenous heritage, um, we have support services such as the Writing Symbols Lodge and um, application assistance um, for, here for you at the University of Calgary. So you can scan the QR code there to access our digital viewbook, which has important information about um, different programs and admission requirements for out-of-province students. Um, you can use it to follow along um, with us today throughout this application, th throughout this pre presentation. Uh, to introduce myself, my name is Jason, and I am a fourth year um, accounting student at the University of Calgary, and I'm currently on my cold work term um, as a student recruitment ambassador. Um, so in this, in this position, I provide presentations like these um, and help with students with their application, pre-application support, um, and all that. And I'm also joined here with Fiona Chen and Anna Ashton, and they will be in the chat box um, answering any kind of questions you guys have. So um, yeah, exactly. Fiona just met, uh, sent a message. If you have any kind of questions that come up throughout the presentation, um, just feel free to type it down and they'll be, they'll be there to support you. Um, but otherwise, um, if you have any questions for myself, um, I'll be able to answer them um, at the end of this presentation. So yeah, feel free to um, scan that QR code and we'll begin the presentation. So the city of Calgary is located in the province of Alberta, which has a diverse set of landscapes for you to explore. Um, we are really close to the Rocky Mountains, but and we are just three hours away from six major ski resorts, which is perfect for a reading break trip um, to go skiing with your friends. Um, and towards the Drumheller area, we have Batlands, which is the dinosaur capital of the world. Um, and another nice thing about um, the province itself is that we are the only province in Canada without a provincial sales tax. And this comes a long way when you're trying to save as a student. And so a little bit about um, Calgary itself. Calgary is the most livable city in North America. And this is because of how clean, safe, and just other factors such as education, healthcare, and infrastructure. Um, and also because we have one of the lowest um, cost of living in Canada. Um, on average, rent is 35% cheaper um, compared, compared to major cities like um, Toronto and Vancouver. Um, and in terms of infrastructure, we are home to North America's most extensive pathways and bikeways. So you can do anything from jogging, biking, scootering, or even rafting down the Bow River, um, which you can see in the picture right there. Um, and since we're Canada's um, sunniest major city with an average of 333 days of sun per year, um, every day is an opportunity to get out and do something. Um, and yeah, if you're an outdoor person, um, Calgarians love to get away to the mountains for the weekend, um, and you can go to popular places like Banff or um, Lake Louise for, yeah, just to get away. And so here we have a bird's eye view of the main campus where you'll be spending most of your undergraduate degree um, studying. Um, if you're curious to see what it looks like from the ground, we have that QR code there, um, so you can scan and get a 360 view. Uh, one building that we like to highlight is the Taylor Family Digital Library, which is commonly referred to as TFDL. Um, and this is the most technologically advanced library in North America, and it holds a collection of approximately 200 video games um, in various consoles. So you can actually take a Japanese video game and gaming culture course and play these video games and write about them in that course. That's pretty cool. Um, and the first two floors is a common meeting area for all students um, from all programs and faculties. They come here to socialize and study. Um, and once you get to the third and fourth floor of the TFDL, um, these are designated um, study zones. So they're very quiet and it's really um, easy to focus um, if you need to study for any kind of tests or exams. And right next to TFDL, we have the student, um, the McEwen Student Center. Um, they holds over 20 restaurants um, and also a bookstore where you can buy your textbooks and supplies. 
and we have a few major um, bank bank branches here. So if you need to contact a financial advisor, they're really um, easy to access. And this is also where um, our student wellness services are located. So you can book appointments with physicians, counselors, massage therapists, um, and, ch and chiropractors, um, any kind of health um, health needs you have, um, we can assist you here. Um, and I, yeah, and also um, uh, dental office here as well. But of course, if you need to head anywhere off campus, um, you can walk to the train station, uh, which is located on the left there. And it's a the campus is a 15 minute train ride um, from downtown. So it's really quick. And our transit system is pretty extensive. So you can get to almost any destination in Calgary um, using the LRT. And you have unlimited access to the transit system with your U-Pass. And this is included in your fees along with your health and dental benefits. Um, and surrounding the campus, we have um, a mall. Um, you can see in the slide there, it's called Market Mall. It's a five minute bus ride from campus. And there's a movie there right beside it. Um, and we have the university district, um, also around a 10 minute walk from campus. It has a grocery store and some restaurants there as well. But overall, it looks like a really big campus, but um, walking from one side to another is only about 10 to 15 minutes. And once you navigate, um, navigate the campus within your first semester, it's really easy to get around to where you need to go. And so um, it's really important at the University of Calgary that you're not only focused on your academics in your first year, but we want you to immerse yourself in the campus experience and make those lifelong memories. So something super cool we have is the community garden where you get to reserve a plot of land and grow some crop. Um, the student un union holds various events um, throughout the year. The one that you see on the slide right there is the pet therapy session um, where the SU volunteers bring in um, pets from shelters and you get to learn more about their stories and pet them. And it's just a good way to de-stress and recoup um, in time for exams. And clubs week, which you see right there, um, that happens at, in the beginning of every semester. Um, over a hundred clubs gather in the, in the center of campus and you get to walk by, network, ask questions about the club, get to know what their people, people are like and their missions and possibly join the club or attend an informational session. And so all in all, um, a lot of different um, first year experiences to, to, be, to be experienced. Um, and if you have any questions about um, any of the other remaining um, points, um, just let me know and uh, I'll, I'll um, walk through it. And so on the topic of clubs, we have over 300 student clubs ranging from athletics, um, academics, um, religious, cultural, and social clubs. If you don't see anything that um, meets your interest, you're more than welcome to create your own club by gathering with a group of friends and going to the SU clubs office. Um, and the great, the great thing about clubs is um, it's a great way to make friends. And if you have no previous work experience, um, this is something that employers look to as well. Um, extracurriculars um, open doors to a lot of um, leadership opportunities, and that's something that you could um, apply and put on your resume. And so it's really important to stay active um, throughout your studies. We want you to maintain that school life balance and lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, your student card gives you, gives you access to all of these amenities, um, including the aquatic fitness um, gymnastics center. Um, and what you see in the picture right there is the Olympic Oval. Um, the Olympic Oval was home to the 1988 Calgary Olympics and it holds the fastest skating ice in the world. Um, you can see Olympic athletes tra training here throughout the season and you're at, you can actually skate on the ice as well. Um, you can rent a pair of skates or bring your own and yeah, gather with a group of friends and just skate um, in the evening. And another thing we have here is the racket center. Um, you can play squash or racquetball. Um, these are individual courts that you can reserve and you can rent um, You can rent the equipment from our facility as well. And the outdoor center is the um, largest of its kind in North America. What you can do here is you can rent equipment um, in case you're going to the mountains or going kayaking, canoeing. Um, you, can re um, you can rent the equipment here um, at a discounted price with your student card. And we also have over 50 intramural uh, sports teams for recreational play. Um, dodgeball, soccer, and badminton um, are are um, the most popular ones we find. Um, so yeah, a lot of activities and facilities that you can use um, within your studies. So you can just maintain that healthy lifestyle. And aside from clubs and physical activity, uh, we have exciting opportunities such as study abroad. Um, you get to select from over 45 countries. And the main benefit of this is that you get to complete course credits 
while traveling. And the cost of tuition is the same that you would pay here at the University of Calgary. And there's just a lot to learn um, going on at international exchange. Um, for example, you might take an economics course in Mexico, and we had students who took it and actually got to see the socioeconomic disparity uh, when they just, when there was, um, class time was over and they were just being tourists. Um, and if you're ever sure, unsure about any part of study abroad, we have wonderful teams of advisors who can guide you through the process of figuring out what kind of courses you can take and when does it fit in your degree. Um, we also have an information session that's held at the beginning of every semester um, to let you learn more about it. And of course, the QR code is there um, and you can learn more about study abroad. And it's never too late or early to do study abroad. Um, students in their fourth year can still manage to fit study abroad into their degree. And another thing that the University of Calgary really encourages its students to think about is work integrated learning. Um, all of our faculties and programs have different opportunities available to you um, to allow you to apply your learning and get hands-on experience. And for business students, there's engineering, uh, or for business students, business and art students, there's co-ops available for engineering and science students, there are internships. And if you're in nursing or education, you will take, um, you will take, um, you'll be participating in a practicum. And for kinesiology, this is optional if you choose to. And whether you're in community rehabilitation or health science, um, you have the ability um, to get in and do research or um, participate in the clinical um, setting. And yes, um, the great thing about work integrated learning is that you're not limited to specific roles. Um, you're more than welcome to um, explore the different types of positions available. So if you're if you are a biological science student, um, you can actually um, take place um, take part in a research opportunity um, within the faculty of kinesiology. So whatever you're interested in, our advisors are here to help you and get you ready for your um, your work integrated learning opportunities. And so um, in terms of career services, um, this, is, this will really help you um, when you are looking for those opportunities. Um, we offer interview workshops um, where you can sit down and have a practice interview with our advisors, or we also have resume support where you can walk through your resume, um, make it clear and concise, and just get ready for your application. Our financial aid office um, is there for you if you have any questions applying for funding, whether that's on a provincial or government federal level, federal level. Um, and we also have educational workshops in case this is your first time um, kind of budgeting and managing your own finances. And our student um, support services um, is a really good resource for you um, within your first year. I highly recommend um, our students to take advantage of this because um, the writing support advisors help you learn um, tips and tricks to write a paper more effectively and efficiently. And we also have peer-led study sessions. Um, so we call this PASS. Um, and what you can do here is um, you can attend a session that's led by upper year students who have taken the course um, and they can walk through practice questions with you. So this is really good if you went to your um, labs, um, lectures, tutorials, and you still need that extra help. Um, this is a resource that's available to you. So it, um, all in all, a lot of different student support services um, these are just a few that's listed on the screen, um, but yes, if you have any questions, um, you can find it on the website or um, we can link it for you. And so at the University of Calgary, um, we are all dinos and we are home to the dinos. We have over 20 varsity team sports. Um, if you're interested in athletics, um, you can visit GoDinos.com, um, contact a coach and submit some um, highlights, high, high, highlights um, stats, and um, some information about yourself. And if you enjoy watching sports, um, your student card gives you access to all of the Dinos games. So you can get together with your, with your friends and get decked out in red gear and possibly win tuition by cheering on the Dinos. And so everyone has the chance um, to live on campus in residence with us. If you're an out of province student, this is something you might want to look into. Um, the key day here is to apply by May 1st, 2022, um, so that you get two years of residence guaranteed. Um, there are double and single rooms available um, for students. So for double rooms, you can buddy up with someone you already know, or we have a matching service where you can get matched with someone who um, kind of fits your personality and lifestyle. And our single rooms are, is lottery based. 
So on your application, you just want to indicate that you want to enter the lottery and the winners will be randomly selected. When you're living on campus, um, you will take part in the all you care to eat meal plan. Um, you don't have to worry about declining card balance, um, a balance on your card. You're free to eat as much or as little as you want. And there's a lot of um, variety of foods from halal, vegetarian, and gluten-free menu options. And we serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, every day is a new menu. So um, nothing to get bored of. And it's a really good um, menu and, and team of chefs there. And living on campus is great. Um, because um, residence is linked um, through an underground tunnel to the rest of the campus, so you never have to walk outside. And like I said, um, there's a lot of amenities on campus, so you don't have to lead to um, get any kind of medical assistance. Um, the student wellness services is there on campus, and you can access it um, on your downside. And in terms of campus safety, 98% um, of our campus is covered in security cameras and campus security is available 24 seven. We have the safe walk program. Um, so what a lot of students do is they spend their time studying uh, throughout the day. And sometimes at night, they may be scared to walk alone. Um, we have trained volunteers who are there to walk you to any destination within campus, whether it's to the train station or to your dorm, um, they can help you there. Um, and we also have the student medical response team which provides pre-hospital um, emergency medical, medical care in case of any kind of emergencies. And yeah, through our bathrooms on campus, we have a list of emergency contact numbers. So um, you can find that almost everywhere you go on campus. And as a student um, entering directly from high school, there are eight faculties that you can apply directly to at the University, University of Calgary. Here are um, eight faculties that you can see on the screen. Um, some of the faculties that are not listed here are law, graduate, social work, vet med, and architecture. Um, some of these programs do require some um, post-secondary studies before applying to. Um, and there's a lot to unpack about each of these faculties. So I'll just show um, the screen right here. So you can see some webinar dates that you can attend and learn more about the variety of faculties and programs within them. Um, and you can take a picture of it or scan that QR code to register for any faculties um, webinars you're interested in. And so this is a really important slide that I would just want that I just wanted to highlight. Um, these are estimated admitting averages that you can find on the university's website when you're applying. Uh, one thing I'd like to know again is that these are estimates and they do fluctuate throughout the admission cycle according to what the average that the pool of applicants uh, present in that year. So my piece of advice to all um, applicants is just achieve the highest um, admission average as possible um, that you can. And when you are applying, there is a $125 application fee for um, applicants with um, Canadian credentials and for applicants with international credentials, credentials, that is $145. Um, when you apply, you get two program choices on your application. We recommend that you select the program that you're most interested in as your first choice and select a second choice that you are also interested in and also um, that you are above the estimated um, competitive admission average for. So it's in your best interest, again, to work as hard as you can um, to achieve the highest possible average um, that you can achieve. And when you apply, um, applications open on October 1st, so you can apply as soon as you're ready, um, and applications will close on March 1st, 2022. So um, some of these programs at the University of Calgary do have some additional um, components to it. So for the Bachelor of Health Sciences, um, those programs require a supplementary essay. This will be sent to you after you submit your application and pay your deposit. Um, and then you can answer the topic question within the document deadline. For fine arts, which um, consists of dance and music, there are additions in the spring this year. It will take place virtually. And for visual studies, you will submit a portfolio. portfolio. And all of our students must um, demonstrate Eng English language proficiency. If you have taken um, three years of English courses in high school, in a high school um, in Canada, um, then you pretty much have this um, requirement covered and you don't have to worry about it. Um, but if you don't, then in your grade 12 um, English course, um, you, just want to, you just want to ensure that you achieve an 80% or higher. 
And so here at the University of Calgary, we admit students based on a rolling admissions process. What this means is that we evaluate applications as soon as they're submitted, but you want to ensure that you provide all the required documents and transcripts as well. If we are missing any kind, any of these pieces, then we'll be unable to evaluate your application and you'll just have a notification on your student center that you need to submit these. Um, although the initial document deadline is, is March 15th, we always recommend that you submit your documents as soon as possible. So this is probably when you um, pay your application fee and you have access to your student center, we recommend that you um, submit those um, documents to us. And another key day here is August 1st. Um, that is the deadline to submit your um, final official transcript, which contains all of your grade 12 marks. And so um, here is a, look, a little look at your first year expenses um, for your first year of studies. Um, however, uh, we do recommend that you scan that QR code or visit the cost estimator on the website to get a more precise estimate um, according to what your program is and your personal expenses. But don't worry, um, we have tons of um, undergraduate awards available. Um, we have $17 million that was given in 2019. Five million was um, specifically for first year students. And then once you finish your first year and you go on to your second, third, and fourth year, don't worry. We also have 12 million in continuing, continuing awards that's available. Um, and awards encompasses a lot of different types. Um, there's scholarships that are primarily based on academic merit. Um, bursaries are based on financial need. So if your financial need outweighs your financial resources, this is something that we have for you. And for awards, they're based on multiple criteria such as um, academic merit, uh, financial need, and also uh, we might look at extracurricular um, activities and achievements. And so just looking at the different types of, of awards available, um, the automatic awards uh, range from $2,000 to $5,000, and you don't have to apply for this. Uh, once you submit your application, we'll look at your transcripts and determine if you're eligible for these awards. Um, the award that is $5,000 is the President's Admission Scholarship, um, and you just want to maintain or achieve a 95% um, average or higher. And for high school um, entrance awards, this is one application that will take around 15, 15 minutes and all you do is click yes or no. Really simple and there's over 100 um, high school entrance awards available for you to be um, considered for and they range from $500 to $10,000. The application to apply, the application deadline to apply for that is March 1st, 2022. Um, for the prestige awards, these are our high value awards um, that are up to $25,000. Um, and the deadline to apply for this is December 1st. So if you're interested in this, I recommend applying for this first and then working on your high school entrance awards. It will take a few hours. There are some essay questions um, and additional components when you're applying for this kind of award. And outside the University of Calgary, um, there are government student loans available and our financial aid office is more than happy to walk you through um, the process of, of applying for provincial and federal awards, um, loans and grants, et cetera. And you can click that, you can scan that through our code um, to learn more. And aside from the University of Calgary and the government, there are organizations that do provide external awards that you can apply for, and you can visit ucalgary.ca slash awards um, as a starting point to see what um, organizations are offering awards. Um, the two most key um, providers is Universities Canada and Calgary Foundation. And so just to walk through the application process um, and as all together, um, the first thing you want to do is research the different types of programs available and the program requirements. Once you figured out what programs you want to apply for, you can submit your application on the website and pay the application fee. Once you have done so, um, you'll be prompt to submit any kind of documents and transcripts. Submit those as soon as possible. The deadline for that is March 15th. And after you had all that taken care of, then you want to look at applying for awards. Apply for the Stige, prestige awards first. Um, they're due by December 1st. And then you would want to work on the high school scholarships award, which is due by March 1st. And once you've applied for the awards, um, now it's just waiting and seeing what updates you receive on your student center. Um, if we require any kind of 
outstanding documents, then you'll be notified. If we can offer you admission, then you'll be also be notified in your student center. And applications for residents open um, are also open currently. So you can apply um, and apply by May 1st. So you get two years um, guaranteed. And once everything has been processed, if you do um, receive an offer of admission, then congratulations, um, you just need to pay your deposit by May 1st. Um, and then once you've done so, you'll have access to register for your courses and then start classes in September. And so altogether, um, the University of Calgary is just a great institution. Uh, we are heavily um, focused on research. Um, in 2020, we received over 400 million um, just for research. And that's something if you are interested in, you can um, look into no matter what kind of faculty you are um, in, there is um, opportunities available. And another um, crucial thing that we'd like to highlight is the opportunity to earn while you learn. So this is what I was talking about, about the work integrated learning and the possibility of earning while you're studying. And yes, all together, um, the University of Calgary and where it's located is just a great location. We have a young demographic of um, citizens and you'll, you'll bound to find someone um, that, you, that you connect with. Um, but all together, um, I'll leave it open for any kind of questions. Um, if you have any, yeah, you can leave them down in the chat box or unmute and just ask away. Um, we do have the national recruitment team here. Um, do they will provide any kind of support um, regarding indigenous or community engagement. Um, and yes, we have tons of support here and we're all happy to help you with any kind of questions you have. But yes, um, you can follow our social media channels. Um, one thing that I really like um, students and I really encourage students to look into is the Choose You Calgary podcast. Um, we have interviews with different um, students, faculty, staff from, fa from different programs and you get to learn more about what's happening at the university and what opportunities are available to you. But thank you everyone for this presentation uh, for out of province students. And if you have any questions, um, stick around and we'll be happy to help you with anything.
Yeah, so if there are any more questions, feel free to stay here and ask. But if not, um, thank you so much for attending and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you. Jason. Okay, I'm done. Okay, do you want to pause the recording so then it saves? Oh. Should I just stop it? Yeah.